Hello children and adults and people that shouldn't be here. Um, and monsters. Uh, we're doing 8-6 vectors. V-E-C-T-O-R-S. Okay? So, vectors. A vector is something that has size and direction. Okay? It's not just a distance and it's not just a slope. It's a vector. Okay? So, let me say that again as the official term. A vector is a quantity that has both length and direction, okay? Now, I've drawn a vector up here. Uh, the starting spot is called the initial point. Terminal point is where it ends, okay? If you want to, imagine like a ray gun and somebody's like holding it up. Where it shoots from is the initial point. And the wall, when it goes, sticks in the wall, that is the terminal point. You get it? Terminal, terminal, you're shooting in a terminal, like in the Matrix. All right, I don't know why I did that voice. Cool. All right, now how do you write vector? All right, you write, like pretend this is vector V. You do like a little thing like that. I don't know if you can see it. I'll write it bigger. That's the V. You go like that. Okay, see it's going from there and it's kind of got a little arrow thing to it, but it's not a ray because a ray has it like this where it's like the arrow. This time you do this little swishy thing. Whatever. Okay, so a vector. All right, let's talk about this. A vector can also be named using component form. All right, now a component form of a vector lists the horizontal and vertical change from the initial point to the terminal point, okay? So pretend like we're on a coordinate plane, okay? Now let's pretend all I do is, if like this is wherever it is, we got graph paper and you can just whatever, you can just count. I'm just gonna count and also, you don't do parentheses like we usually do. We do like these like little things that I can't draw apparently. You do like a, it's like parentheses but for robots. Okay, does that make sense? They're like that. I messed it up. So sorry. All right, so we just count and we find the x and y. So we find the rise. I'm sorry. First, we're doing x. So it's how far we go over. We just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So seven, and then we count up. One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, so that is the component form, all right? That is it as uh, how it appears, okay? So we're making pretty much a right angle with it, and that's how we can measure the component form, okay? Um, let's see, what next? What next do we talk about? Next is the magnitude, okay? If you hear that word in real life, the magnitude, that's like, how big is it? What is the magnitude of that explosion? All right, how big is it? That's exactly what we're doing with magnitude here. The magnitude of a vector is, sorry, the little box is falling on my face and made me mess up. Uh, magnitude of a vector is the distance, essentially, okay? That's exactly how it is. It's how far it is uh, on the thing. So, like right here, we would just do the distance formula. Like right here, we could do Pythagorean theorem and find that magnitude, okay? If you wanted to, you could plot it and then do the distance formula from any two points, okay? Like if you wanted to, this is your graph. Say we know that the uh, say we know it is seven negative five. Okay, I would go over seven, down five from the origin. That's my vector. All I got to do is zero zero is one of my coordinates to plug in the distance formula, and then seven negative five is my other coordinate, and then I just solve it. Okay, and I find the distance. Fair enough. Cool. All right. Now, next thing. The direction of a vector, okay? We all know what direction is, where you're going. The direction of a vector is the angle that it makes with a horizontal line, okay? So essentially, like two sections ago, we talked about uh, angle of elevation and the angle of uh, depression and all that. That's essentially what we're doing here, okay? So the direction is, whenever we have that line, wherever it is, we just, that angle right here that is formed that's the angle, okay? We can use the stuff we learned from Sokotoa, all that junk to solve that, okay? Cool deal. Cool beans. Cool, cool beans. All right. Um, next one. Equal. We got a lot of terms you got to write down this section. Equal vectors. That means that they have the exact same magnitude and the same direction, okay? It'd be like if that's a vector that I just drew, let's say that's vector u, and right there is vector v. They would have to have the exact same magnitude, which is the same distance, and they have to have the exact same direction, okay? 
Make sense? Cool, that's called equal vectors. To be exactly equal, they have to have both of those things. Next thing is parallel vectors. Now, parallel <coughs> just means that they have the same direction, or if you want, they can go opposite direction. Okay? So they don't have to just both be going. They can, one of them can go this way. Okay? And they don't have to have the same size either. One of them can be like that. Okay? As long as they're parallel. Alright? Next thing. It's called the resultant vector. R E S U L T A N T vector. And that's the vector that represents the sum, which means added together, of the two vectors. Okay? That's what they are added together. Now, there's two methods your book gives on how to add the vectors. There's the head to tail method, all right? That means, let's say this vector goes here, and that's vector t, and then this one goes here, and that's, uh, let's say, vector r. This one is right here, that would be vector t plus vector r, okay? So head to tail, you go from the initial point on one, and then you end up at the terminal point of the other, okay? That's essentially what that is, okay? That's called head to tail method. All right, the next one's called the parallelogram method, okay? Say they, uh, say they go like this. Like I do like this. I'm going to go like this. All right, that's vector s. Let's say this one goes up here, and that'll be vector k, all right? Ours is we make it a parallelogram, okay? Means the opposite sides are congruent and parallel. And then our parallelogram vector is the one that goes from that angle that they make to that corner up there, okay? That'd be angle k plus, or vector k plus vector s, okay? Now, sorry I said a lot of things, but guess what? You have the opportunity to pause, rewind, reenact, reinstate, reestablish the end.